Okay, see this very interesting question. An adiabatic piston of mass m equally divides an insulated container of total volume v0 and length l. Here we have an insulated container and here we have an insulating piston. It is dividing the container into two equal parts. Okay, so total length is l. So this is l by 2, this is l by 2. Correct. The piston is uh, insulating, the container is insulating. So no heat exchange takes place anywhere. A light spring connect the pist uh, piston to the right wall. Okay, here we have a spring. The container has helium gas. The pressure on both sides of piston is P0. The container starts moving with acceleration A towards right. Find the stretch of the spring when acceleration of the piston equals to acceleration of container. So when the steady state is achieved, we have to find the elongation of the spring. That's it. Okay. So let's say that the piston will get displaced by a distance x. Okay, the piston gets displaced by a distance x over here, correct? So volume over here is decreased, volume over here will increase, correct? So in this position, if you draw the FBD of the piston, okay? So spring force will be acting Kx, correct? Then pressure on the left will become uh, P0 plus dp, Okay, because we have small displacement, the question says small displacement on the right, the pressure will be P0 minus dp. So here we have P0 plus dp times area forces acting in this direction. Then we have P0 minus dp times area force will be acting in opposite direction. And with respect to container, if we look at the system, we have a pseudo force. MA acting backwards. Okay, so the net force should become zero. So KX plus P naught A plus DPA should be equal to MA plus P naught A minus DPA. Okay, so KX will be equal to MA minus 2 A DP. So basically, if I can find the value of change in pressure, I can solve this question. Now, how do you find the change in pressure? So the first hint that we have is that there is no exchange of heat. So the two gases will undergo adiabatic process. So let's write the equation for adiabatic process. For adiabatic process, uh, PV power gamma is constant. Correct. Since we have got helium gas, for the helium gas, gamma will be 5 by 3. Okay, but we'll put on uh, put it later on. If you differentiate this equation, you will get dp by dv will be minus gamma p by v. Okay, so dp is equal to minus gamma p by v dv. Okay, now what should we do for the piston on the left uh, for the container on the left side for LHS section of the container dv is minus area into x because the volume over here is decreasing okay so dp will be gamma p by v times ax okay right same thing if we apply on the right hand side we will get again dp same value okay now put gamma equal to 5 by 3 so 5 by 3 p and volume is what volume will be a into L by 2, initial volume is L by 2, times Ax, so this is equal to 10 Px by 3L. Okay, this is your change in pressure, dp. Now we put dp in this equation, so Kx equal to Ma minus 2 Adp. So Kx equal to Ma minus 2 a dp minus 2 a dp is what 10 px by 3 l we'll just do one thing we'll put p naught over here p naught because initial pressure is p naught okay now if you rearrange this equation you will get x times k plus 20 a p naught by 3 l is equal to ma so x will be equal to what? ma divided by this whole term. Okay, this is the elongation of the spring.